Hi, it's uh, Mike Stevenson here. So we're going to have a look at um, the DevOps pipeline that we use to run the um, run the local test that we have running in the function runtime for Logic App here. So if you remember, um, we had these two projects over in the solution. We've got these unit test ones which run in the functions runtime and it, it does various um, testing of our workflows. Now, when we want to run these in a DevOps pipeline, you'll see I've got the pipeline file up here. And, and basically the, the pipeline, you'll see you've got all the YAML code that configures what that pipeline does. Now, over here in DevOps, you'll see I've got the, the run of the pipeline itself. Now, there's a couple of things to note here. So when you run your pipeline on the build agent, um, if you're doing the, the Azure tests, um, so that's the acceptance test where they, they run against the deployed logic app. Um, there's a, f a lot fewer steps that you need to do because the, the logic apps are running in the cloud and you're just calling them via an API, so it's a lot simpler. But if you're running that function runtime locally um, to run the workflows, you, you're going to have to make sure the build agent's got all of the prerequisites on that you need to be able to set up um, the machine to be able to run the logic app so if we go through some of these stages here you'll see um i've got a quite a bunch of steps here so things like installing um azure right so we're going to use npm and we need to install azure right if you want to use any storage um we need to run the the functions core tools so we need to install that uh, what's that message there I'm just going to refresh this. I think I might have uh, timed out my sign in there. Okay, so if we, we see here we've got the functions core tools gets installed on the machine because obviously we need that to be able to run the workflows. Um, and then I'm going to just kind of display for diagnostic purposes. We're going to just display what's set up on the machine. Um, we're then going to check that the functions runtime can start up. So this step here is really just to save your time later on. You don't want to get everything all configured, start running your tests and find out there was something wrong with the functions runtime. So we can just run um, func.exe and check it's all kind of installed properly. The build of the solution is then going to just um, run my, my um, .NET um, build command against the solution, which will you know, set everything up and compile it and everything for both the tests and the logic apps. This bit here then creates a folder for package and the logic apps as part of the pipeline. I'm going to produce them a build artifact as an output from it. Um, so really here we're just putting <coughs> putting the logic apps into a folder that gets zip ready to package it, which is really what these steps here are about. And then the this one here is going to publish it as a build artifact and then so here we start getting into the testing itself so the first thing i need to do is i need to make sure as you right started so that'll basically set that up and then we're going to execute the tests now what i'm going to do in fact actually i think this is an older build so i'm going to just make sure i grab the most recent one you can see here we'll be talking about the second stage in a future video but really at the minute we're focusing on this build and package and run so here um we should be running our tests and you can see i've um, the, the difference between the build i showed which is a slightly older one is i've modified the login command so it's just listing out the tests and what the results were here so this is running on a, a dot net um test command which we'll have a look at in a moment runs all of our tests, displays the results, and then here we're going to publish the, the test results to DevOps's test plan. So I'm just going to open that ready for looking at in a moment. Now, over in VS Code, so the pipeline, as I said, has got two stages. So here we're looking at the, the build package and run unit tests. So we've, we've got all these steps that were um, displayed in the in the build output there so things like install and as you're right and these are the, you know you'll be able to view this pipeline in git so you'll be able to um you know just check through any bits you want to read a bit more about but the key thing we're looking for here is um, so firstly we've got the command to start as you right and then we've got the the running of the tests so we're doing a dotnet test command 
And the bit that I'm doing, rather than using the out-of-the-box task, I'm just running it off um, PowerShell so that I can configure the loggers a bit more and have a bit more customization about the results I want. Um, and I've added that bit so it displays the tests in the console as well as producing the, the file that I can have uploaded um, to my um, to my build run. Sorry, to my uh, test run, which we'll look at in a moment. And then here, this is the bit where we publish the test results. That's fairly out of the box um, set up there. Now, if we go back to um, to the test plans here, you'll see in the test run results, um, I've got an item for my acceptance tests and an item for my unit tests. So here, if I open that up, you'll be able to see we've you know we've got the outcome. We've got eight tests that ran. And we'll be able to see the individual tests and how they were, you know, what their results were and stuff. So we get this quite nice, rich experience that we're used to with all sorts of um, testing in .NET. But we're doing this for Logic App workflows now as well. So we're ticking all the boxes for the, the things that we want our tests to do. Um, hopefully that shows it's quite easy to to uh, run your tests in, in a DevOps pipeline. Um, the you know, you could use the pipeline I've got in GitHub as a like a starter to get you running. You know, the key bits you need these these two bits to run your tests and publish the results. But then, as I say at the start of the video, because we're running the tests on the build agent, you need to make sure you've done things like install as you right and you've got the function core tools on and everything else that's that's kind of earlier in this pipeline. Thanks very much for listening.